Today's topic is Chronobacter. Chronobacter is a group of gram-negative, rod-shaped bacteria that is found in the environment and which can survive in very dry places. Chronobacter, which used to be called Enterobacter sakazaki, has been found in a variety of dry foods like powdered infant formula, skimmed milk powder, herbal teas, and starches. It has also been found in waterways and sewers. Getting sick with Chronobacter is rare, but Chronobacter infections are often always lethal for babies and infants. Chronobacter infections can also be serious for the elderly and people with a weakened immune system. Chronobacter kills 40 to 80 percent of infected children. Sources In children, most cases of Chronobacter infection comes from powdered infant formula contaminated with a bacterium. Sometimes powdered formula can get contaminated at the factory. This could happen if contaminated ingredients are used to make the formula or if the formula powder touches a contaminated surface in the manufacturing environment. According to the Centers for Disease and Control Prevention, manufacturers report that using current methods, it is not possible to eliminate all germs from powdered infant formula in the factory. Other times, the powdered formula can be contaminated after it is opened at home or somewhere else since the Chronobacter bacterium lives in the environment. This could happen if the lids or scoops are placed on surfaces covered in Chronobacter and later come in touch with the formula, or if the formula is mixed with water or a bottle that has Chronobacter. Symptoms Chronobacter causes several kinds of conditions, and symptoms vary with the age of the patient and the site of infection. For infants less than 12 months, Chronobacter can cause severe meningitis or sepsis in babies, especially those less than two months. Chronobacter germs usually get in the blood or cause inflammation of the membrane surrounding the brain and spinal cord, meningitis. Some may experience seizures. Those with meningitis may also develop brain abscesses, hydrocephalus, or other serious, long-lasting problems in their brain. Infections from Chronobacter in babies usually start with fever and poor feeding, constant crying, excessive sleeping, sluggishness, irritability. People of all ages. Chronobacter can cause wound infections in cuts, scrapes, or places where people have had operations. It can also cause urinary tract infections. Older people and people with weakened immune system, as seen in people with HIV, AIDS, those using immune-suppressing drugs for cancer, organ transplants, or other illnesses, or those with a genetic condition that affects the immune system may get chronobacter in their blood. Diagnosis and treatment. Chronobacter infection is mostly diagnosed by testing blood or other samples in the lab. Treatment. Antibiotics may be used for babies with a bacterium in their blood. Babies with meningitis may need imaging tests to help detect brain abscess and other complications. People with urinary tract infections or serious wound infections should be treated with antibiotics. Prevention. Extra precautions should be taken by parents or caregivers of babies with a weakened immune system, infants born prematurely, and those less than three months. The following recommendations should be used. Breastfeeding is the best option. If you use formula, consider choosing those in liquid form. Always practice proper hygiene. Always wash your hands with soap and water before preparing and feeding foods or bottles to your baby touching your baby's mouth, after using the toilet or changing diapers. Keep all items that enter the baby's mouth clean. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.